Hey guys, welcome back. I'm out here at my wood pile where I'm going to start to make some firewood because there's two things in spring that you can pretty much count on around my place. That is making firewood and that is uh, bug season. So bug season is almost upon us. The water is now completely free of ice. The bugs will be hatching and I'll end up having to shoo them away from me very shortly. So before we get to that stage, I'm going to take care of some of the wood that I've piled up here over the last little while. Now this was here last spring or last summer and I just sort of left it under the snow. Now it's obviously out from under the snow. Now we're going to split it. We'll throw it in the IBC cages and then we'll end up making a bunch more of these IBC cages of firewood. The wood you see here is not all pristine hardwood that I like to burn in the house. Uh, what this is is a bit of a mixed bag here. Got some spruce, got some pine and probably some fir mixed in. There is some hardwood pieces you can see up there. Got some poplar down here. So it's a bit of a mixed bag. I burn different wood at different times of the year. Uh, generally speaking, I keep the good hardwood for the middle of winter, usually uh, the end of January into February, and then the rest of this wood I'll burn throughout the year. Depending on the, the temperatures outside, I'll also save some of this for camping. So we're going to pile it up just like you see over there. I got the tractor here because I've got some big hardwood pieces here on the ground that I can't really pick up without hurting myself. So I'm going to use the grapple just to help me get them up here on top of the deck, top of the splitter deck here, and then go from there. Now, one thing you're about to notice is my splitter is a little bit under the weather, unfortunately. There is some leaking going on, at least there was last time I used it. And so I have a feeling that uh, that splitter cylinder there is in, in need of a, a rebuild. I talked to my local hydraulic shops, in fact, I talked to more than one, and they told me that by the time I price in their hourly rate and parts, I'm better off buying a new cylinder. They were quoting me somewhere in the neighborhood of 700 bucks to rebuild it which I was shocked, but that's the, that's the reality when skilled work is not cheap. So I could rebuy, I could uh, put another one of these cylinders on. I priced it out at Princess Auto, which is like Harbor Freight in the US. Princess Auto, I can get another one of these cylinders for about 300 bucks Canadian. That's probably the route I'm gonna go, but then again, I'm also at the point where it could use an upgrade in the engine department. So you put 300 bucks here for a cylinder, you put 300 bucks there for an engine. You're all of a sudden at 600 bucks before tax. You throw tax in there, you're at 700 bucks, and then I start thinking about new splitters. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen here, how well this is gonna split today. But as with many of you guys, you basically run it until it doesn't run anymore, and that's what we're doing here. I don't wanna drop any money into this at this point. So we'll, uh, we'll put it on. I'm gonna wear the safety glasses. I'm gonna hope the cylinder holds, uh, holds up. What you'll notice when I'm splitting is it doesn't leak until the until the rod gets all the way out to here and it's at maximum extension then if i keep pushing on the lever then it begins to leak but it doesn't leak anywhere else so we'll see what happens as i said we'll hope for the best and well if it breaks down you guys are going to see it live so here we go welcome back now in the past when i've run this engine some of you guys have talked about the governor and the linkages needing adjustment and all this i can tell you right now the linkages are completely shot they're actually wires that i sort of rigged together the reason it's like that is um, the engine has had some problems. Uh, there was actually a board over top of this one time and I left it there throughout the winter. The snow load, believe it or not, with just the weight, it pushed down and it pretty much broke off the air filter and all the attachment points there and it bent the linkage. And uh, as a result, I had to, had to rig some stuff together. So if you hear it idling high, it's idling high because not everything is as it was stock. That's the reality. As I said, I run things until they break. If this thing breaks, then well, I'll fix it. Anyways, let's hope we can get this thing going. Last time I had it going was a little while ago, probably about a week ago. I didn't split any wood, but I just started it. I think if we give her a go right about there and hope for the best. And as you'll notice, it could also use a new recoil. But I'm trying not to dump money into this unless I know I'm gonna keep it. Get in there. It's gonna be a while. Okay. Now let's see here. It's just a it's just a horrible setup, but it's what you got. And one other thing you might notice, if you guys look closely, come on down here for a minute. Have a look there. You guys see the crack there on this piece, which holds the, uh, the hydraulic pump to the engine. That crack is a problem. That has to be in line, obviously. 
So just chalked it up as another issue with this setup. So maybe that'll get me closer to convincing myself to buy a new one. And you have moments like that and you're like, yeah, let's keep the good times rolling. Fix the old one and keep it going, but then you pull it 50 times and you want to throw it in the river. Mickey Mouse setup. As I was saying, it uh, leaves a little bit to be desired. But if it works and it splits wood, then that's a few less dollars than I have to sort of pull out of the wallet at this point, and that's kind of nice. Anyways, let's let her warm up and then we'll split some wood.
overall this setup here where I used the tractor and the grapple to pick up the pieces I couldn't lift, this was terribly inefficient. I wouldn't want to do this very often because this took an awful lot of idling time on the tractor, took an awful lot of in and out of the tractor seat time and wasn't that, uh, wasn't that fun. It, it was a lot of a lot of moving around this position where the IBC cage is too close to the wood splitter didn't make for easy driving. So I think I'd do this a little bit differently. In a perfect world, I'd have a wood splitter with a nice log lift and that way I could use a PV or a cant hook, roll the pieces over to the wood splitter, lift it up, and then I wouldn't even need the tractor. But such is life, you use what you have, you'd be thankful for it and that's the way it goes. So what I think we're gonna do, let's just have one last look at the little weeping here going on you guys can see right here it's a little bit of hydraulic fluid that's leaking out that's been like that for quite some time but where the majority of it was leaking out was along the uh, uh where the ram comes out of the cylinder normally when it gets fully extended it was leaking but just having a look here today things are looking good so that's pretty much the only leak there so i'm uh, pretty happy with that i guess this thing wants to stay around a little bit longer i'm certainly not going to replace that until it breaks and I use the word until I do know that it is leaking in certain circumstances so it will break I just hope it's not for a while I don't want to spend too much money right now anyways let's finish off let's fire up the chainsaw I'm gonna make some of these logs into pieces and then next time around I can just uh, focus on splitting and go from there let's get the chainsaw
there we go that's the workout for today we took all those logs cut them into rounds and then these rounds will eventually make their way into ibc cages so that i can have some firewood to heat the house with aside from that some of this stuff which is a little lesser quality i'll use for camping and if i ever get around to making maple syrup again i'll use some of that for that anyways if you guys burn with wood you know exactly how much work this is it definitely puts sweat on the brow today keeps me from having to go to the gym although i probably wouldn't go anyways but regardless keeps me uh keeps me somewhat fit if you guys um, heat with wood as well, sometimes you probably get the feeling like I do where you start thinking, start thinking about propane, you start thinking about heating oil, and you start thinking about a furnace. Midway through this pile, I started thinking that might be a good idea, and then I came around to my senses and realized if I start using a propane furnace, I have no excuse to have all these toys, or tools as I like to call them, floating around, and uh, that idea of a furnace quickly went out the window. Anyways, lots of uh, fun work out here today. I'm going to have a bunch more ahead of me, as you guys can see. That's definitely not going to get done in one hour or two or three. It's going to take a bit of work. So hopefully, hopefully you guys come back for that. And hopefully my splitter is there to uh, greet you. If you guys have any questions at all, make sure you put it down below. And if you could do me that big favor, give her the old like a -roo. Make sure you subscribe. It'll help my videos get out to more people. And hopefully I can keep doing what I like doing. And hopefully you guys like watching it. I'll take care out there. Be well. See you next time.